Today I'm interviewing Teresa Martha, visual artist and co-founder of the IBB in Carousel. How long have you been involved in the arts? Um, I think since 1991. So it's like nine, 21 years, 22 years, something like that. So it's been a very long travel. <laughs> What medium do you uh, primarily work with? Um, most of the time uh, I use installations, but um, I do love to uh, also uh, do a lot with videos and uh, something that I've been doing also a lot is performances. So most of the time it's installation, video and performances. What kind of concepts do you usually work with? Um, most of the time my work is about uh, people, about the people, uh, about uh, the way they live, the way uh, they deal with hope, their hopes, the way, they, the way they deal with politics, religion, uh, their disappointments. So most of the time uh, my work is about how people survive uh, the daily conditions they are, that which they are confronted with uh, in their daily life. Have you exhibited widely throughout the Caribbean? Um, yes, I've been around, yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've exhibited in, in Biennial of Havana, I've uh, exhibited in Martinique at the Cousette ici, at the uh, uh, Fondation Clement, uh, in Dominican Republic at the Museum of Modern Art. Um, Three death in the baby exhibit. So uh, I believe uh, yes. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. <laughs> right now you're in um, studio space that you work in most of the IBD. Yes, because um, I believe that um, um, for me one of the important things uh, is to be kind of an example for the for the students. So um, the best way to do it is to uh, be working yourself because I believe that. Most of the time, it's very important to, to um, let them see uh, the way you deal with, with your own work and, and that they are um, so that you can get more comfortable with the fact that um, when you are an artist, it's not like the life uh, like most of the people describe it of someone who's drinking and uh, and, and chilling around. But it's uh, it's it's quite a hard work, and so you are busy the whole time trying to create something, trying to make uh, your your voice visible to, to others. So for me, uh, at a certain point, especially because I believe that the IBB um, is, uh, is, is, is much more uh, of a movement than just an art institute where students are, are, uh, will get a chance to prepare themselves for uh, first study in the Netherlands. So um, to stimulate this this way of thinking, this way of living, this way of dealing with with, with, with the arts. It's better to bring it very close to them and to share your own um, way of dealing with it uh, with students. So that's why I uh, thought, uh, let me move uh, uh, my studio into the IBB. And basically I, I don't have a studio, or I do have a studio, but I never use the studio, but because of the students, uh, I decided to yeah, create a studio here at the IBB so that they can be very much more aware of uh, what comes along with uh, being an artist like, uh, like I am. How did you get the idea to form the IBB? Um, the idea started years ago because um, when I because I did my study in the Netherlands and I came back to Curacao and at a certain point because of the fact that um, the reason why I went to do art was not because I had talent in drawing or painting or anything like that but because I saw art always as a tool to um, communicate uh, 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 um, yeah, whatever I want to communicate uh, to other people about the social conditions and about the, the political the, the they call it the religion situation and the mentality of the, of the people. So um, when I got back to Curacao, 
one thing that was very important for me was to um, be not only working as an artist in a studio or be doing exhibit, exhibition stuff like that, but I wanted to do uh, social cultural projects. And at a certain point, by doing all these social cultural projects, uh, I came in touch with a lot of youngsters that were very talented. And at a certain point, I started uh, myself individually uh, uh, guiding them, the ones who wanted to do a study in the Netherlands at the Art Academy, I started guiding them. Um, and then uh, I met uh, David and uh, I met uh, Nancy Hoffman and then we really started to talk about the possibility to create this institute. So at a certain point it was very natural so to, to, to create the IBB as a consequence of uh, everything that you are confronted with. Uh, not only uh, the part of uh, creativity, but also the, the social needs, um, uh, the mentality needs, the spiritual needs, because that's, uh, that's also uh, something that most of the time people do tend to neglect, but it's a very important uh, detail in the existence of, uh, of, of the people here uh, on the island, of course, and also in the rest of the world. The IBB, it does a lot of preparation with the students to, for them to go on to further their art studies. And a lot of that happens with the Netherlands. Um, is it something you'd be more interested in to see the students begin to travel throughout the region and then you exhibited throughout the region? Do you think it's something that we could work towards to have them doing exchanges with other art institutes in other areas? Yes, uh, that's our main goal to create uh, the structures and the network so that we can uh, um, let the students do much more exchange projects uh, in the region and also um, instead of going to the Netherlands to art academies that they can go to Cuba for example or go to Martinique or to Edna Manley in Jamaica and do their art study there. Why? Because we do believe that um, the cultural gap between Curso and the Netherlands is very big and uh, um, it doesn't, at certain points, it doesn't appeal to what uh, the students uh, have. And the other thing is, is that going to the Netherlands and going towards a, a new culture, new conditions of life, new mentality, most of the time can be a big, a big uh, uh, problem for the students because um, most of the kids that we have, they they do what they do not because they want to become a famous artist, not because they want to be in a, in a glossy uh, uh, magazine or in an art book or something like that. No, it's totally uh, uh, a consequence of the urge, the need that they feel in, inside themselves to develop their own qualities. And we believe that uh, up till now, um, the going to the Netherlands does have an added value for them because the reference is much more bigger, it's broader, their, their vision uh, will become uh, much more extensive, there will be much more influences, but on the other side, the, the reality of their daily life in, in a new culture does uh, kind of break off also their, their development as, as, a, as, as, a, as an artist. And we do believe that uh, by Lebanon study in the Caribbean, where the gap, the cultural gap is, is smaller, where they can adapt themselves easier, where they can um, develop themselves in a more, much more natural and, and healthy way, it will be better for them. And besides that, we can always create a possibility that they can go for two, three months to Europe and create uh, the Western uh, uh, experience, uh, the Western uh, art uh, scene and uh, situation. So. Um, for us, it's it's very important um, for the next uh, two to three years to be able to send our students uh, to the region. How important do you think interregional projects like this one that I'm on now between Fresh Milk and the IBB? How important do you think that is to reaching that goal of sending the students to the Caribbean islands? Yeah, it's very important because one thing that I'm convinced of is that. You know, I've, I've been in, in quite a lot, of, uh, a lot of exhibitions abroad and 
one thing that it's a pity is that it's beautiful to have a big Caribbean exhibition in New York. Right now there's a second one, Caribbean Crossroad. It's nice to have a exhibition in, in the Netherlands about the Caribbean, in France and everywhere, but I believe that we must create the conditions in the Caribbean itself to bring these exhibitions here. And how do you create the necessary structures to make it possible? And that's why the exchange, exchange pro, um, program with, for example, Fresh Milk, the reason why you're here, um, later on we want to expand this network towards the other islands also, is to create a, 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 a structure in which it's very easy for us to create this, this type of exhibition, to create the type of, because up till now, what for me is a kind of a pity is, what most of the time happens in the Caribbean is only the theoretical uh, part. And, and that's not enough. I think that the people of the Caribbean needs to see, needs to be much more aware of uh, how the art that has been developed here in, in, in this region, how it has added value for not only the region itself, but all, also for the, for the global development of, uh, of, the, of art and, and, and social consciousness, political development and all of that. So at a certain point, we must create uh, uh, all these possibilities uh, that will uh, uh, create much more consciousness, much more awareness, so that the people in the Caribbean also can be much uh, uh, proud and much more aware of what the added value of, uh, of, of what we do can, uh, can have for them, not only as people interested in, in, in art, but also uh, for the development of culture, because um, thus, much people, thus, uh, much people are not aware of uh, uh, how important a developed culture can be for their land. Because most of the time, when they measure the quality or intellect or whatever of your country, they go and check out your culture, they check out your art, they check out your music, they check out your literature. You know, so that's a very important thing that we need to develop and. I do know that because we don't have all the resources to develop all of that, uh, it's very difficult. But I believe that um, by working together, by uh, exchange and all of that, we can support each other in, ev in every way that we can so that we can help each other develop these details that are very important to be uh, developed. My final question is, you're going to be traveling to Barbados in a couple of weeks on the other half of this cultural exchange. And is there any message that you want to give to the Barbadian arts community about what you want to gain from this project? Um, yes, I do believe I can, I can. My first example of what I want to, um, or what we want to achieve, is that you know, it's there is much more uh, that we can achieve than we, we, we yeah. In our wildest dream, we cannot even imagine how much we can achieve. And um, I do believe that at a certain point, um, uh, the results will be a collective one. It will be a result where not only us at the IBB, but also Fresh Mill, also uh, Allison Yard, also Timber Studio, also Atelier 89, that we can all have a big profit out of it. Because you know, it's nice to be an artist. I, 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 I didn't imagine that I would have such an international career that is doing my career is doing very well. But it's not about that. It's about um, the urge. It's about the need to create something that can uh, stimulate much more development in the people. So you can work as a and, and do a lot as a big artist, but the important thing is that it is a vision that you have, it is a, a achievement that you have made that needs to be carried on, needs to be uh, a brick in the foundation that will build and construct the rest of the, the Caribbean culture, so you need to, to uh, collaborate with it, otherwise it doesn't make sense to work that hard and at the end you'll die and all your experience, everything will go into your grave for you. So that's why it's very important that we should work together and, and, and put our egos aside and 
that's why I really, really appreciate uh, uh, the collaboration with, with um, um, Henry Lee because we've been talking a lot, Skyping a lot and trying to give this form, trying to give this uh, uh, space so that it can exist and develop itself. So um, that's why we, we really, that's why we really wanted to do it, do the first step in Barbados. And after that, we want to be an example for the other islands. And we are also going to be uh, talking with the other islands and trying to create the same possibilities. And yeah, I, I, I still believe that uh, Barbados as the first step is going to be uh, the most um, important one because this is uh, very experimental what we're going to do. But I think that's going to be all. okay. Because, uh, just knowing you and I know Annalie and I think that everything is going to be, it's going to fit into this spot. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure. Thank you.